The fox. Andy's got to ask for days, right? Remember, Jane, Stacy probably wasn't being snarky about my deal before. I, I just want to play the little hockey here. I can't handle that situation right now. Oh, trust me, I know. Excuse me. So you know, my son is not a situation drink, and I'd appreciate it if he grew up and saw the possibility. Just stay out of this. I'll never. Hmm. Why does that name sound familiar? Yeah, we were just discussing the outcome of both of us. I'm the only parent going in, so I'm just staying over there. Until I know the fox. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. And it's really nice to meet you, Gwen. Uh, can I say? We are so happy to be friends with school. I know. I can't watch either. An apology is rude. So I think great is probably hard to achieve. So no? Jane, Gwen is not going to take the team out of school. No? No, definitely get back to check the kindergarten. Okay, girl. I hope I get your brother in the play with you. Mama Kale. I know. Let's hug him. You must make this right. Look, if Gwen doesn't like you, you're screwed. Or rather, Mateo's screwed. She'll get no special attention. You're all the bad teacher. I'm fixing it. I wrote a long apology note. It's a man thing. Only actions do. Okay. There's a final planning meeting for the annual fun visit tomorrow. Gwen will be there, and so will you. This is important, Jim. Plus, everything you do reflects on me, because I'm the one who brought you in. My reputation was ruined. Strangers confronted me at a grocery store. Someone pointed a finger at a red light and called me a slut. It was awful. For the record, I want to reiterate how sorry I am for the part I played in causing this. Okay. Uh, I think that's all we need. Sounds like they assassinated your kiddo. Great, great stuff. For our case. Hopefully we won't need to use any of it, though. Much better than you do. That's right. Immediately. But I am going to drag her. Oh, no, not this again!